How's it going, my peeps? It is now time for the WWE Elimination Chamber 2014 Prediction Game Video. Man, the Elimination Chamber has to be one of my favorite pay-per-views. You probably hear me say that a lot about pay-per-views. Oh, this one's my favorite, or one of my favorites, actually. My favorite would probably be the Royal Rumble. And the Chamber has to be in the top five. Uh, for, the main reason for that is the fact that the Chamber determines a lot of things when it comes to WrestleMania. Uh, determines a lot of matches, uh, mainly the the main match, the, ma the match for the championship, in this case for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Whoever wins this match goes on to WrestleMania to defend the championship against Batista. And the Chamber match itself is just, it's such an entertaining matchup. I like the concept. And when it comes to multi-man matches, matches that involve more than one superstar, I always prefer the elimination style of matches over the matches where it's the first person to get a pinfall or submission and then the match is done. I've always preferred triple threat elimination matches or fatal four elimination matches. Anything that involves, you know, I guess multiple superstars starting off the match and then, it, you know, it... Uh, I guess it boils down to two superstars in the end, and then finally one superstar. And of course, the chamber itself is, I, I like the concept, I like, you know, two superstars starting off. It's kind of like the Rumble, where two superstars start off, and then afterwards, you get other superstars entering the matchup, except, unlike the Rumble, the Rumble, you know, superstars enter at a minute and a half, minute, uh, I mean, a, a minute 30 intervals, or two minute intervals. In the chamber, I believe it's a five minute interval between superstars editing the match show. And of course, the obvious difference where you win by pinfall submission instead of, you know, throwing your opponent over the top rope. And, you know, the chamber over, you know, since it started, the chambers, they, they've changed the spot of the chamber you know, a bunch of times. And by spot, I mean like when they would have the chamber. In the past, you know, they. They had it at Survivor Series, they've had it at SummerSlam, but over the past, I don't know how many years, but the last couple of years, they've had it right before WrestleMania, and I think I really like that placement. I like it after the Rumble instead of before the Rumble. Uh, it just, it makes it that much more important when it's after the Rumble, and I like, I like how the Rumble determines the challenger. Well, this wasn't always the case. Because before, when you had two championships, uh, they would have like one elimination chamber match for the championship and one to determine a number one contender. But now that the championship or the championships are unified and there's only one title, uh, the chamber of course determines the champion. So I like that the Rumble determines the number one contender for that championship, and the elimination chamber, the pay per view right after, determines who the champion will be, who's going to be defending that championship come time for WrestleMania. And the cool thing about it is, since the elimination chamber, you know, involves six superstars, that's six potential superstars uh, that could possibly defend the championship at WrestleMania rather than, you know, let's say it was back to being just the No Way Out pay-per-view before WrestleMania where there was no elimination chamber uh, at that event. You know, sometimes at No Way Out, for example, at one time they had JBL versus The Big Show. That's just a one-on-one -on -one match where, you know, there's only two possible guys who could win that match and move on to WrestleMania to defend the championship. In this case, with the elimination chamber, you've got six possible superstars. It just makes things a lot more interesting. Anyways, enough to talk about how I like the chamber. I think I've made my point here. So anyways, let's move on to the actual predictions here. And as always, in the comment section below, I encourage you guys to leave me your predictions for every single match on the card. It's always fun to see who gets them all right. Uh, after the show now last time for the rumble there was of course i think five matches and i got all of them right except for one that was the daniel bryan versus bray wyatt match and that was also hard that was probably the hardest match to predict on the card actually yes it was it was the hardest match to predict and i got it wrong i said daniel bryan would win the match but bray wyatt won the match so this time, although there is more matches on the card, so there's more of a possibility, I guess, of me getting it wrong, I'm hoping I get them all right. There's seven matches on the card this time, so I'm going to try to make it seven out of seven. So, 
Um, let's start this, of course, with the kickoff, as always, which is going to be Cody Rhodes and Goldust versus Ryback and Curtis Axel. Axel. Now, this match kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, I mean, Ryback and Curtis Axel, Cody and Goldust, they don't... I mean, Cody and Goldust versus Ryback and Curtis Axel, those two teams don't have, like, a feud... Uh, at least uh, that that I'm aware of. So it's it's really a random match, like a just two two teams facing off against each other. Uh, pretty simple here. But I do think there's a reason why they put this match up on the card on the kickoff. I don't think it's just some random match to give you know a random victory to any one of the teams and that's it and that's all. No, I think something's gonna come out of this. And uh, for that reason, I'm gonna go with Ryback Soul picking up the victory here. And I know they haven't won a big match in a while. And for that reason, a lot of people will probably pick Cody and Goldust as their, you know, prediction. But like I said, I do think something's gonna come out of this match. And for that reason, I think they'll win the match. Anyways, after that, you've also got another Tag Team Match, except this time for the WWE Tag Team Championships is going to be the six-time champions, the New Age Outlaws, defending their titles against the Usos. Now, this Tag Team Match, I actually thought this match would take place at WrestleMania, and I've talked about this. I actually talked about this the last prediction game, and I was talking about it in the simulation of... Uh, the previous kickoff match for the Rumble, which was Cody and Goldust versus the New Age Outlaws. And now the match is actually taking place, the pay-per-view before WrestleMania, the Elimination Chamber. And because of that, or partly because of that, I think the New Age Outlaws are going to retain the tag team titles here. If this, like I said, was a matchup at WrestleMania, then I might have went with the Usos. But since it's not WrestleMania, I'm going with Billy Gunn and Roadzog winning this one and retaining their titles. Anyways, afterwards, you've got two former tag team. Uh, I mean, what, what am I talking about here? Two more, uh, two former partners, I mean, uh, not two former tag teams. Uh, Darren Young versus Titus O'Neil. Uh, Titus O'Neil just recently turned his back on Darren Young. Said he was dead weight, this and that. And, uh, yeah, now they've got a matchup at the Chamber. And the primetime players, they haven't been in a pay-per-view match in a while. So, t I guess Tedus O'Neal turning his back on Darren Young was both good for t Darren Young and Tedus O'Neal. And, uh, as far as the winner for this match, this was probably the easiest match to predict here. So, I'm gonna go with the big deal, Tedus O'Neal as the winner of that match. Now, moving on to another matchup, another title match. Actually, the previous one wasn't a title match, the Darren Young versus Titus O'Neil match, but this is a title match. It is for the Intercontinental Championship. It is going to be Big E Langston versus Jack Swagger. Now, when it comes to this match, initially I thought it was an easy match to predict. I was like, oh, Big E Langston's obviously winning this one. Then I thought about it a little bit, and I was like, oh, never mind. I think I could see maybe Jack Swagger winning this. So then I thought about it, as I usually do with my predictions. I'm, I'm, I'm a person that really likes to think about my predictions. You know, I, I really want to be right with them. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, in the end, though, I went back to my initial prediction. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go with Biggie Langston winning this one. We'll see what happens. So this Sunday, and of course, I'll talk into more detail or go into more detail on the uh, on this matchup in my Biggie versus Swagger simulation. So afterwards, you've got Batista versus Alberto Del Rio. And I know I said the Darren Young versus Titus O'Neil match was probably the easiest match to predict on the card, but that's because I forgot that there was also this match. So forget what I said before. While Darren Young versus Titus O'Neil is pretty easy to predict, at least in my opinion, Batista versus Del Rio is by far the easiest one to predict. I mean,. I don't think anybody has any questions about, you know, who's going to win that match. I don't think anybody thinks Del Rio's going to win that. So, obviously, going with Batista on this one. Now, for one of the, the most anticipated matches on the card, that is the Shields versus the Wyatt Family. And uh, I'm looking forward to that one, along with the Chamber. Those are the matches I'm looking forward to the most this Sunday. I'm going to go with the Wyatt Family winning this one. And then... For the Elimination Chamber, 
I'm going to go with the Viper, Randy Orton. So, that's it for my predictions. Now it's time for you guys to give me your predictions in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, you can click that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Let's try and get this 100 likes, just like the Rumble Prediction game. And with that said, I'm a guy. See ya.